What's up, Magic the Rescuing fans? We are back with one more Modern Horizons, trying to get the last three cards that we are missing from the set. Hex Drinker, Sarah the Benevolent, and Unbound Flourishing are all that elude us to get a complete set of Modern Horizons. Six boxes in. I still don't know if we're going to be able to do it. It will be interesting. We will find out. And we are going to get straight into this. Pull out all the magical frills and move this along here. We are going to start once again with the right hand side. I don't know why, but we're going to do it. And we will see which kind of box we have. It looks like we have the same style box as the last one with the rare in the back. Whereas our first four boxes... We're rare in the front. So here we go. I'm gonna get straight into it. Looking for three different mythics to complete our set. And of course, we would still love to get some cool uh, mythics and rares that we already have, because there are plenty of those to be had. We got King of the Pride there, Goblin Matron, which I love that card. Into our first rare, Cabal Therapist. Or, uh, ooh, ooh. Or as Sean Connery would say it. That's right. That's right. Okay. Cabal Therapist for a thousand, Alex. All right. Here we go. That last box was not too amazing. Uh, we did get an Urza at the at the at the end there, but um, not too great. Okay, here we go. And the cordial vampire. We're on a looks like a black trend here. We're doing mono black rares. I don't think we had any duplication in the last box, but we did have some duplication on boxes previous to that. So that was interesting. And we didn't get any foil rares or mythics out of that last box, which is just strange. All right, what do we got? A Force of Virtue. None of the two forces we want, but a force nonetheless. Traditionally... In our box openings here, the left side has always been the best side, so I like to start off with the right. And if the left side ends up better, then we get to end the end the box on a good note. Okay, here we go. That's our first talisman. We will take it to the first sliver chosen and our first pain land, the fiery islet. I think we get one of those a box. It seems like one fiery islet per box. Seems to be the normal, the normal deal here. Okay, the chiller pillar. He's crazy looking. Okay, here we go. Another talisman, very nice. Feaster of Fools and uh, Echo of Eons, first mythic, and it's a nice one. Very nice mythic there into, oh, a foil rare. Aria of Flame, not a great rare, but nonetheless, it is a foil rare. All right, that is, I don't know what to say about that pack. Echo of Eon's good card, very good card, very good pull there. It's always disappointing to get a not so great Foil, rare, or mythic. Into Sisse, Weatherlight Captain. Okay. We are... These backwards boxes, or forwards boxes, whatever you want to call them. I don't really know the deal with that. I think one of them is like a, the Japanese print run. The ones printed in Japan, not the Japanese uh, language. And then the other one... I don't really know where it gets printed. Somebody probably knows. Leave it in the comments if you know. I'd like to know. Tell me. Talisman of Curiosity there. 
a cunning evasion into an unsettled mariner. All right, move along here on this lovely right-hand side, or as we like to call it, the East Coast. And moving through our final box for the foreseeable future of Modern Horizons. Firebolt, the Lesser Masticor, Face of Divinity, and, ooh, that's a good rare, Eladmari's, wow, oh, Eladomri's Call. And I had to look at it for a couple minutes to make sure I say it right. Ooh, and the Echo of Eons. I like that, that artwork. Wait. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. I heard that they're going to do another snow-covered set next year, I guess it is. I'm interested to see how that pans out. I don't see a lot of people playing snow decks. But maybe I need to make one. Especially with all these snow-covered lands here. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a very nice mythic. Morphon the Boundless. Very cool card there. Nice. And we are up two mythics so far. Not bad at all. We got ourselves one pain land, two good, decent mythics there. Box is already shaping up to be better than that last box that we went through. The Tribute Mage. That's, a, that's such a creepy card. What's wrong with that guy? Girl? I don't know. The guy? Girl? I don't know. What's wrong with that person? Okay, going into the Fallen Shinobi. And Everdream. Oh, that's kind of a cool foil. Very nice. Some of these uh, foils in this set have some sneaky value. I always end up surprised. Um, like, I think the, the common ephemerate foil is worth like five bucks. That's sneaky. That's a sneaky common foil. That's good. That, that card right there. That's funny. Just talking about that card. You and foil are worth about five dollars. So, that's really cool. I like when there's random value in some of these sets. Alright, Alpine Guide, the Regrowth. I love that art, the Face of Divinity art. Very cool. Into the Collector. Oof. Ooh, and another foil. Foil Nimble Mongoose. That is not one of the sneaky value ones, I don't think. Alright, there we go. Throwing stuff all over the place here. And we are seven packs. <laughs> seven packs to go on the right hand side. If you don't know what I'm laughing at, you should watch my other videos. That happens quite often that I look over and it's seven packs left, and I promise I don't do it on purpose. Uh, Talisman of Conviction. Where did I put my talismans? Oh, I just I put them all together. Oh, well, here we go. All right. Well, we got him. Oh, and the nurturing peatland. Very nice for the painland. I mixed up my good uncommons and other uncommons. Looks like that's okay. We'll have to just get it later. No reason in doing it right now. We are moving along. That's another ephemerate. Hmm. Talk about it, and then it shall appear. I do like that art. The weather, the storm art. Very cool. I would like a foil of that. Birthing Bows, Smiting Helix, the Scuttling Sliver into Reap the Past. Reap the Past for our for our rare. Alright. Moving along. We are almost done with this first stack here, the right side. There we go. There's our first pack trouble of the video. Always at least one or two packs that give us trouble to open. Look at the Goblin Champion. He's so proud. It's a messed up sword, too. Alright, the Unicorn Zebra there. It's 
supposed to go there. Rebuild, scale up into, ooh, very nice mythic, the seasoned pyromancer. That is a very good pull right there. Right on par with Morophon the Boundless. Very good. This is already turning out to be, like I said, a way better box than our first box. Three Mythics on the right side. And the left side is usually the better side, so that just bodes very well. Unless, of course, they prove me wrong on the last box. And the left side is just absolute garbage. We are in for a decent box here. The Good Fortune Unicorn. Sadistic. Frostwalk Bastion and two very nice, good rare there. Archmage's Charm and a Gluttonous Slug Foil. Man, look at that. Ugh. Don't want to encounter that, that's for sure. All right, three packs left on the right hand side. Almost halfway through the box here, we are at three Mythics. Some good, good Mythics too. Couple of pain lands already. Not bad start. Not a bad start at all. Lanawar Tribe, Factor Fiction, the Carry On Feeder into the Cloud Shredder Sliver. I love slivers. That's the you know main reason for wanting to open up some Modern Horizons. And luckily, a very generous stork dropped off a lot of sweet bundles of joy into our lives. And here we are, trying to get the full set. We're only missing three cards. Three cards. We have yet to pull one of them. No, you belong there. Web Weaver, Blizzard Strix into Ayula's Influence. Oh, will he make an appearance? Will he do it? He could. He could. We would be very thankful if the Renin 6, Sir Renin 6, appeared in this box. Okay, Crypt Rats, the Vesper Lark, Pillage into a Winds of Abandon. Okay, that's not a bad rare at all. Not a great rare, but not a bad rare. All right, here we go. Left hand side. Left side, will it be the best side? I don't know, it's got some good mythics to compete with there. Some pretty good cards in that right hand side there. Alright, the birthing bows, the alpine guy, the nantuko cultivator, into the bizarre trade mage. Alright. Ooh, was that a... it was. We need a Sarah the Benevolent. Will she make an appearance? We got our Sword of Sinew and Steel on the last one. We didn't get our Hex Drinker, and we didn't get our Unbound Flourishing. But, we got one out of the four. Oh, did I skip one? Yep, sure did. There we go. Hollowhead Sliver, love him. Pillage into the Waterlog Grove. Okay, very nice. Third Painland. I love getting some pain lands. Good, good, solid, modest value in the pain lands. What's the land cycle coming up in Double Masters? I forget. Leave it in the comments below if you remember what it is. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Ever dream into the Unsettled Mariner. I think that that is a duplicate. Unsettled Mariner for the duplication rare. Not a duplicate we wanted. We would love, like, two Ren and Six. One of them being Foil. How cool would that be? That would be just phenomenal and amazing. Alright. Tempered Sliver. He's cool, too. I love all Slivers. All things Sliver. I love it. Ugh, the, not the creepy one. The creepy Future Sight. There it is. And a Twin Silk Spider Foil. Okay. Chiller Pillar. There he is.
All right, here we go, moving along. We are getting through this box, but we have yet to pull something that we really need. Glacial Revelation. Ooh, there's a generous gift. We don't mind that. A Talisman of Resilience and Kaya's Guile. All right. That is... The left side is not proving to be great here. No Mythics yet. Three on the first right-hand or East Coast side. Still throwing me off that this is backwards from the first four boxes that we opened. All right, the, th man, the throat seeker, golly. Munitions expert, a talisman of conviction into force of rage. Still not the forces we are looking for. We will take a force of vigor or a force of negation. All you other forces, the force is not with you. All right. There's that chiller pillar. The astrolabe. Okay, or scale, shattered assumptions, the saddled remstag into tectonic reformation. All right, moving along here. About halfway, a little over halfway through our second stack. Left hand side, not doing us any favors today. And the Rot Widow pack. Ugh. There's some gnarly cards in here. Lonely Sandbar. The Vesper Lark. And the Spiteful Sliver. Oh, yep. Good old rare sliver. I like that. And the Goblin Matron. Here we go. Man, are they saving, saving the goodies for... For late in the video here, keeping you guys tuned in, or are you bored already and tuned out? That's the question. All right, I see a talisman already. That's good. Talisman of Hierarchy. The Watcher for Tomorrow. Great looking art on that card. Into. Ooh, there we go. Very nice. Prismatic Vista. That's a top four, that's for sure. Great card there. And also, a Painland, number four. Oh, we got some honking going on outside. How very nice. Always nice to, you know, honk at your neighbors. Honk for good luck. Honk for uh, Ren and Six, Sarah the Benevolent. Urza's Rage, the Ever Dream, the regular, and we got the foil of that. That's nice. Into Genesis. Okay. Oh, and a foil lava dart. It's kind of a cool foil. I love the foils. They're just so cool. There's some really awesome cards, and then when you add foiling to them, man, they just jump out and become amazing. And then there are some that are not so great. I've heard the foils on the Double Masters VIP boxes are just stellar. So I'm kind of excited for that. I'm excited to see what that brings us. Valiant, the Farmstead Gleaner, into... Ooh, Sword of Truth and Justice. Very good mythic, Sword of Truth and Justice. That is our fourth mythic. And the right side, or the left side, is starting to make a comeback here. Prismatic Vista and a Sword of Truth and Justice. It is trying to make its way on the last leg. It's on the kick version here. Kicking it up a notch on the left hand, west coast side. Conifer Worm, Exclude, Carry On Feeder, and there we go, Force of Vigor. Nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, this is crazy. This will only be my second ever foil mythic, and it is a foil mythic Renin 6. The top card in the set. 
Oh my God, I don't even know how much this, I think this thing is worth like $250. I don't even know what to say. Holy crap, left hand side. Oh my God, look at that. I'm shaking a little bit and I'm trying not to. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the most epic pull. Oh wow. This is amazing. I don't even know what to say. This, I don't, where do you belong? You belong right in the middle here. Oh, this, yeah. Leave all your comments about my reaction. I am dumbfounded. I cannot believe we just pulled a freaking foil Renin 6. Oh my God. The honking worked, people. Honk again. Foil Renin 6. It doesn't even matter at this point what else I pull, if we get the whole set or not. We just pulled a freaking foil Renin 6. Oh my God. Mirrored and Besieged. I love you, Mirrored and Besieged. We'll take a thousand of you. Ooh, that's a really cool card too. A foil face of divinity. Look at that thing. We are just talking about foils that are just amazing. Look at that foiling on that card. Oh my god. I'm still reeling. Foil ran in six. Oh, we have five packs left. And... I, I don't know what to say. A foil mythic Renin 6. Oh my god. This is... Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm distracted. I keep on looking at that card. I'm distracted. We've got five packs left. We're going to get through the five packs. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Look at that! Yawgmoth Thran Physician mythic coming out. Man, this this box. This box might be the best box yet. And we've had some pretty good boxes. We had our little hiccup in the last box. A foil Renin 6. I don't even know that I've seen a foil Renin 6 anywhere. Uh, how did we do it? We did it, though. I mean, I didn't do anything. I just opened up the box. The stork is is really my favorite person in the world because that thing, holy crap, that's that would feed like 10 goats for like half a year. I don't know the exact figure on it. There's a deep wood f or deep forest hermit. I can't even talk right now. Man. That is a premium top-notch card. Left side, west coast, best side. Three packs left here. We gotta get through it here. I'm still just dumbfounded. There's another talisman, okay. Wall blossoms into a hall of Heliod's generosity. I am still, I'm putting cards in the wrong place over here because I keep on staring at the foil Renin 6. I wonder how many times I've said it already. Leave it in the comments below if you've counted how many times I've said Foil Renin 6. Ooh, I love that card. Love the art on that card. Okay. Woo! All right. Undead Augur. Dismantling Blow. And the Scrapyard Recombiner. I mean, oh man. Okay, last pack. Ladies and gentlemen, last pack. There is no way that we could ever end on a better box. It's just not possible, I don't think. Final pack, ladies and gentlemen. Web Weaver Changeling, Good Fortune Unicorn, Feaster of Fools, and... Oh, very nice. Another Mythic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Mythics. That's the most Mythics we've gotten. The Ranger Captain of EOC is very good. And the Foil, Renin 6. Let's take another look at him. Oh, man, in all its glory. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Make sure you follow us at Magic the Rescue on Instagram. I can't even use my words right now. Make sure you check out the details below. And uh, yeah, if you like it, like it. And if you love it, subscribe. Holy Renin 6.